wet out there. Rather, yeah. I reckon we just brave it. We haven't got any we haven't got any wet weather gear with us. We haven't even got the umbrella. Yeah, so we're not getting out the car. <laughs> and welcome to a new vlog. We're all water park ready today because we are off to Typhoon Lagoon. Are you excited to ride some water slides, Lloyd? I'm really excited actually for today. We haven't been to Typhoon Lagoon in so long. It's actually a really fun water park. There's like the yeah. crush and gusher. It's and been over four years, hasn't over it? Over four years, yeah. And that it's never normally that busy. It's not like Volcano Bay where there's like where you have to like obviously tap into the rides and it's really long. They're normally quite short. So yeah, I'm looking forward to being back and just having a bit of a chilled time there this morning. <laughs> Bought a locker. There we go. It's quite a big one, isn't it? <laughs> so here we are. I think we're going to go straight into Crush and Gusher. Crush. Gusher. Shall we just pop in the water quickly, just so it's not too much of a shock? Okay. We'll come up to the back. Acclimatise ourselves to the water. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little bit chilly. I think it feels cold because it's quite warm out here. <laughs> Freezing. Change of plan. We're going on to Ow. What it, what is Misadventure Falls? I think it's called, isn't it? Yeah. There she is, Mary Oceaneer, and her parrot. Let's go. your raft all the way up. Slightly annoying. I really like the theming of this one. Pineapple plunger, yeah? Let's go for it. In the day this area used to be swimming with the fishes didn't it becky it did and it traumatized me for life so i'm quite glad that it's just sand <laughs> <laughs> yeah so all of this bit that was sand used to be water and then that waterfall used to fall into the into the uh the pool didn't lagoon. it lagoon right i think we've kind of taken the wrong turn to look at where the fishes used to be Need to head back to some more slides. I'm going to swim down there and get scared of the waves. <laughs> I didn't go in, I didn't want 
lose my glasses. We're on the lazy river, just chilling. This is so nice. I don't know whether these are new, whether these like seat you ones are new. Are you? I can't. I can't remember there being any. No. Yeah. It's very enjoyable though. The good thing about this lazy river is that it goes around the whole of the water park. So you can get off at different stops to ride some of the slides and then get back on and then ride to the next place. The good one. Becky's freaking out. <laughs> Becky, don't just don't sacrifice me. for a spot of late lunch. So just as I was sharing, our food arrived. So we've gone for some brisket, got some baked beans going on, got some slaw, some waffle fries, and a little cornbread. Just to say the waffle fries um, are cross contaminated. So they give you a little menu with all of the light stuff on and some says cross contaminated, some says like if you remove the breadcrumbs, um, and then depending on your allergy, you just pick. So, yeah. so it's really, it's, it's a good place to eat and there's loads of options for being free because it's meat, so. <laughs> Indeed. And you've got a Diet Coke as well. I have. It's like a fountain beverage machine. And I've got an amber beer. Look at that, looks very tasty. That was literally the quickest stop into Disney Springs for the polite thing. Because now we're heading over to Animal Kingdom. So we've arrived at Animal Kingdom, <laughs> however you may have seen as I filmed the sign that it's rather wet out there. Rather, yeah. This is our first bit of rain that we've seen. It is. In our whole trip. So I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing excellent, look at it. Don't I reckon it? this will just blow over. Do you think? Yeah, because it's an hour till park close, right? Yeah. So I reckon we just brave it. We haven't oh, got any. Know. We haven't got any wet weather gear with us. We haven't even got the umbrella. I don't think we're brave, but Lloyd, I'm not going to get out of the car when it's like this. Really? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So we're not getting out of the car. <laughs> it is absolutely mental. The poor people, like that, have just left the park. I really feel for them. It's absolutely crazy out there. Oh. And I'm pretty sure we just saw some lightning. So Animal Kingdom, not today. Thank goodness that we went to the water park when we did. Oh yeah. It was a it, lovely time it, in the water park. It's a brilliant like, morning slash afternoon. Yeah, it was so nice. Compared to this, goodness me. I know, and it, even the sun came out. It got a bit cloudy as we left. Yeah. And we were like, oh, is it going to rain? And then even Disney Springs was still a bit sunny. Yeah. And it's just, it's Florida, isn't it? Welcome to Florida. I just hope it's not going to be like this tomorrow. Yeah. And the next day and the next day when I we've got not. Universal, so. But if it's just showers, showers are okay. Yeah, we'll take if the it umbrella. blows over, but then this, it's fine. Yeah, but this is too much for the umbrella even. I'm not getting out right now in this. No. Not a chance. Madness. So we've come to a very rainy outlet <laughs> to see if, instead of going to Animal Kingdom in the rain, yeah. to see if the t-shirt that Lloyd really liked in Vans is here. We're not going to film, we're not going to take the camera with us because no. well, it's really rainy. We just had an announcement on the radio that there's a severe weather warning. Oh, I don't yeah. know whether it's for this area that we're in right now, however, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it is quite bad, so we're going to run into the outlet, we both need the toilet, yeah. so that's why we're getting out as well. Um, <laughs> But yeah, if there's anything to film, we'll film on the phone. But all we got from the outlet was some pants for the <laughs> So we went into Calvin Klein. And yeah, so we didn't film a lot. No. So we, oh, and then we had to pop to Target because oh, my sewing costume slightly broke. <laughs> it's um, a bit annoying. 
but I can sew that up now. And then we came back and got ready. And we're all ready for dinner. All ready to go. Very excited for tonight. Yeah, can't wait. Looking forward to the bread service. Yeah. We have been seated on the most giant table. Literally the biggest table ever. <laughs> so this is what we're working with. A table for probably about six is a table for two. I think for I think you could fit around eight. <laughs> this is the drink menu back here. Just here. Oh, drinks in here as well. Oh they main menu. And they've cop whoa. And they've cocktails and all sorts. Well, this menu is has got a mind of its own. And there's beers. Sanar is known for its bread service. It's like a naan bread service. And there are the accompaniments. You get all of those, and then you get to do a bit of dipping or a bit of spooning on. And they also do gluten-free as well. Now the appetizers, you can get those. Or there's this inspired part where you pick one from the journey and one from the harvest and so you could get butter chicken going seafood curry braised beef pork vindaloo and then a rajma masala chickpea what what sukumo wiki or lentil dough what have you got there it's an african mai tai which is rum pineapple juice uh, i think oh an amaretto oh wow yeah really nice so nice. No. You really taste the amaretto. Oh. I've gone for a Samuel Adams seasonal, which is just like their summer ale, which is very nice. Here is our bread service. So these are the glutinous breads. I've got a spicy one, traditional, and an onion one. And here are Becky's gluten free ones. They look a bit like pita breads. They do, don't they? Yeah. And then obviously in the middle are the sauces. Now we were told these two at the end, they're spicy. The next are savoury, so these four are like savoury ones. And then the next two, they're sweet. And then you've got a cucumber writer to finish it off. So what's this one Lloyd? This is the second to so hot one. We just had the hot one. And it's not too bad. Really tasty. Only a little bit tingly on the tongue. That's that's more sweet than it is spicy. Oh. I'll try it then. Yeah. Just finished all of the sauces. My favourite were the spicy ones right at the end. And then followed by the green one. It was really tasty. What was your favourite? Um, a light, spicy, the green, mango, and the fruity one. And the fruity? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> My favourite favourite was probably the mango one, the mango chutneys. Mango chutneys. How are your breads? Are they nice? Yeah, nice. Quite dense, but they're quite tasty. <laughs> My breads are very, very nice as well. Our main meals have just arrived. We're kind of sharing everything this evening. And so this is the beef and the masala. I can't remember what, the, what it was called. Something masala, which ultimately is kidney beans. And there's the rice. And Becky's just pouring out her rice. That's Phil. <laughs> and I've got chickpeas. Oh, chickpeas. Chicken. The butter chicken. So that whole meal all together with our annual pass discount was 110.65, which I don't think is too bad for all of that food and two beverages as well. It's and very good. In Kingdom Lodge. Yeah, well, exactly. You're in Kadali, Kadali Village. Village. Yeah, yeah. But that's very good. Very good value, I think, for it's all not of that too food. Bad. For a Disney meal, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. For for what you got to remember where you are as yeah, well. You do. Yeah. <laughs> Just realised we were sat in front of a hidden Mickey on the wall. Becky's just sorting out all the paperwork. <laughs> and the pineapple. <laughs> Paperwork and pineapple. There's animals out, the zebras are out. 
Are they the Encoli Cattle? Oh, I can't see. They're not zebras, they're the Encoli Cattle. We thought we'd come out and view the savannah just as we uh, as we finished our meal. It is starting to rain a little bit. a little bit. It'll be alright though for a minute. It's not too rainy. Oh no, maybe it is. Yeah, it's maybe it is. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it really is coming down. It is a little bit. <laughs> But the camera is better than our eyes in the dark, so what you see is more than what we can see. <laughs> On closer inspection, that is a zebra. <laughs> it's definitely a zebra. So it's the next day and we're just on our way to get some petrol before we head to Universal. But before we do that, we thought we'd give you a quick review of our time at Sanaa. I thought it was really lovely. The bread surface was lovely. I mean, my, my naans were a bit strange because anything gluten-free in the bread department is always a little bit strange, but they were really tasty. Obviously, the accompaniments really helped with that. And then my curry was really lovely as well, and it was really nice to share oh, with you. Really nice. How did you find it, Lloyd? Oh, it was so good. The, the, all of the food is just full of flavour and really, really tasty. It helps that we really like curry and that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, the beef especially, oh my days, it was so tender and tasty. The sauce that it was in was really great as well. And yeah, as you said, sharing was really cool. So we got to taste loads of different things. And yeah, really good. Our one tip though, that I should probably say, our reservation was at nine o'clock. So it's quite late to eat. I'd recommend one around five-ish anyway, because then you get to see the savannah. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, we. I mean, we did see it a little bit. We saw that zebra. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we did. <laughs> the one. So Lloyd's just jumped out to grab us some petrol, and while he does that, I will end the vlog. So if you've enjoyed this vlog, please give it a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We're about to spend three days at Universal and we also have a little stay there as well. So if you wanna see that, then yeah, please subscribe and we shall see you on the next one. Mm.